Okay, first we need to add 3 grams of salicylic acid. Weigh that out. On 2.9. 3 grams on the scales. And we're going to put that into an Erlenmeyer or conical flask. And to that, you need to add 6 ml of acetic anhydride. So the acetic anhydride has gone into the salicylic acid and then finally we're going to add about six drops of phosphoric acid. So they're all the ingredients for making aspirin. And we're going to swirl them together and then add it to a beaker of warm water for about 15 minutes. Okay, now that's been in the warm water for 15 minutes and it's all dissolved. We're going to add 20 drops of cold water. And that will reduce our temperature a little bit. And then we're going to add 20 centimetre cubed of cold water. So we didn't want to add the water all in one go because we want to bring the temperature down slowly. And that will now go into the fridge. Once the mixture has been in the fridge and crystallisation has occurred and you get a white solid, we're going to put it into Buckner filter and wash it through with some ice cold water. The Buckner filter works by causing a suction. So the water is going straight from the tap down into the sink and that is pulling air through that other tube out of the Erlenmeyer flask, forming a vacuum there and pulling the product down with it. The cold water through the Buckner filter cleaned off any impurities.
Now we're going to perform recrystallisation on our aspirin. So we're going to take the crystals out of the Buckner filter and into a flask. We will add 10 ml of ethanol. So we stir in some warm water to heat it up to dissolve the crystals. Now the aspirin crystals have dissolved in the ethanol, we are going to add water, 25ml of warm water. And this will be covered and the crystals will start forming again as the solution cools. So to speed this up, we will put it in the fridge. Now the aspirin has recrystallized. You can see that it has made very, very small crystals now. And they really look rather pretty. Now we need to put them through a Buckner filter again. And goes the filter paper into the Buckner filter. Starting the drying process, sucking out all the moisture from the crystals. So once they're dry, we can then put them onto a piece of filter paper to complete the drying process. and you'll want to leave those for a little while to completely dry out and once they're completely dried they will look like that dry crystals of aspirin <laughs>